Hi everyone, this is Ian Lamont, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be talking with you about how to use Google Forms and how to embed a form into a website or to use it in other ways. And basically this lets you put a form on your own branded website or put it on your social media site. It's quite easy to do and let's get started. So go to Google Drive, drive.google.com and then look for your form. And I've recently been working on one, so it's called Pet Preferences. It's very simple. So select the, open it up by double clicking it. And you'll be brought to the screen in which you can edit the form. Now, I don't want to edit the form. I'm all done with it. I've added a pretty banner up here. I have my questions, and I've demonstrated this in other videos, by the way. But now I want to take this form and put it on another website. And basically, this is how you do it. Up in the top here, there's a button that says Send. Click on that. And you'll have a couple different options to send the form. One will be by email, and they'll basically you can email somebody a link. The other way is just to take the link itself. Here's a link. You can copy it, and then you can paste it into another web page. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. And here's my form. But the problem with doing it this way is you'll see that the URL at the top is a Google URL. And what if I want to put that on my own website? There's a way to do that. And this is how. So go back to the send form and click on the icon. It looks like two pointy brackets pointing in opposite directions. And it will give you something called the embed HTML along with a width and a height. And basically the idea is you take this code, you just click on it once to highlight it, then you click copy, and then you can bring it over to your website, maybe it's a blog, maybe it's some other sort of website, paste that little bit of code in there, and then the form will appear on a web page in your own website with your own website URL. I'm just going to change one thing with this. This is a little bit too wide for me. I'm going to set it to 640px, which means pixels. The height. I think that's okay. Let's copy it again. Copy. Okay. Now, I've already prepared a post to carry this particular form. A sample survey using Google Forms. This is in WordPress, by the way. And this is for my official website, Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. So, what you need to do, in WordPress at least, is you have two ways of looking at the text. This is the visual appearance, kind of what it will look like when you actually post it. Go to the one that says text, or in some maybe older versions of WordPress or other blogging platforms, it will say HTML. And then you just paste that little snippet of code that you got from the other website. From this code right here, you'll paste it. So I'm going to go to Edit, Paste, or you can use one of the keyboard shortcuts. So here's the code. It looks like computer code. You can't really tell what it's talking about other than the width and the height. But this is all I wanted to do, and I'm going to publish this, and then we're going to take a look at it to see what it looks like. Okay, Post Published. Let's take a look and see this great looking survey that I just created on my own website. It's taking a little bit of time. Okay. So, here's my website. A sample survey using Google Forms. And here it is. Pet preferences in America. And the great thing is, is it has my own URL above there, and then people can take the survey. So which do you prefer? Cats. Do you want a pet? Yes. Scroll down, hit submit, and the response has been recorded. So that's how you embed a form created in Google Forms on a website. For more information on how to use Google Forms or Google Sheets, Google Drive, Google Docs, Check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.